next we want to look at the calculus of motion. Right? So in the, uh, the last section we ended with integration, right? and um, so there's the brief mention at the end of arc length, which is something we will return to. Um, and now that arc length calculation, that's something that we will kind of use moving forward. Uh, whereas, uh, like a definite integral of a vector valued function, you're maybe left wondering, like, okay, that's nice, but what is it good for? Um, well, probably the main thing, at least that I can think of, where you would actually want to do this would be a problem, let's say, in like a, a sort of elementary physics scenario where you are given, let's say, the velocity function for some object, it's a vector valued function, and you want to determine displacement, right? So integrating the, the velocity over the interval is going to give you the, the displacement, right? Um, whereas um, if you were to integrate uh, the magnitude of the velocity, that would give you the distance traveled, that would give you the arc length, right? Um, and so the sort of quantities that you would kind of have in mind here um, would be, um, so you'd start with some vector valued function, say r of t, and we'll view this as displaced, well, not so much displacement, let's not say displacement. Uh, displacement would be the change in that function. What we're, what we're really measuring here is position, right? So it gives us the position of, of a point or a particle or some sort of object in, in the plane or in space, right? Okay, well, if, um, if the original function r of t, if that's our position, right, what happens when we take the derivative of position? Well, as usual, derivative of position should give us velocity, okay? And now notice as a vector quantity, right? Um, has a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude is what we would normally refer to as speed, right? So speed is a scalar quantity, how fast you're going, right? Um, the velocity also tells you the direction that you're going in, right? How fast and which way. We get both of those pieces of information. Um, and Note that if you were to integrate the speed, right, if you integrate the speed, our prime, that is going to give you distance, right? Total distance traveled, um, not displacement, but actual distance, right? How far did you walk, let's say, right? Whereas um, if you were to integrate the vector quantity, that's what gives displacement, right? Because if you think in terms of fundamental theorem of calculus, you're going to have basically r of b minus r of a, which is just the displacement over the interval, right? Um, and finally, we could also look at the second derivative, right? And that is going to give you acceleration, okay? And again, Acceleration is now a vector quantity for us, right? Uh, magnitude and direction, right? So the acceleration is telling us how our velocity is changing, right? And since velocity is a vector quantity, right? We wanna, when we know how it's changing, we're, there's a direction associated. Are we, are we gonna start moving this way, start moving that way, right? Um, acceleration is gonna tell us um, how the direction and the speed are changing.